Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Spyro 2. I still haven't figured out the subtitle for this game because I didn't look, because this is immediately recorded after the last episode. In the last episode, we did some of the Sunny Beach, one of my least favorite uh, levels, but uh, playing it through again, it wasn't as bad as I remembered it. Luckily, that's not the word for it. Sadly, I don't know why luckily came out of my mouth. Sadly, we weren't able to fully complete the game just be the level, not the game. Uh, the level just because we needed to figure out how to climb ladders, as you can probably tell. I saw something. Shut the mm, up, please. We can't climb ladders. So we need to climb ladders, and then once we climb ladders, everything will be good. In this episode, we're going to go. We're going to be going over here, and this way, and we're going to be playing the lovely, lovely Aqu Aquia Towers. Aquia Towers. Water. I don't know why water is so prevalent in these last few levels, and I don't know why I hate water so much. That's a lie. I know why, because water controls suck in a lot of games. That's fact. You can't disprove me on that. What a dick. What a dick. The funny th okay. But yeah. Just kind of how it is. This area is basically water zone central. So, uh, that's really it. Basically, you're trying to fill up the entire thing with water. That's kind of it. I wonder how many t more times I can say that's kind of it. It's a good question. Either way, that's really the, the idea of this level. Filling up this these towers with water it's a fun little thing i think this water level is more enjoyable and a little bit more interesting than the last one because the other one was just a beach and i know everyone loves beaches but i don't i think beaches kind of suck yep and just like that i've been canceled good job me uh i think beaches are super sandy like their whole their whole thing is supposed to be sand heat and water and being that two out of three of those things I don't like. Sand and heat. I burn, I don't tan. Okay? The sand, I hate getting sand in places that I never knew existed. It's not that fun at the at the end of the day. So yeah. I don't really like the beach too much. Not my place. Like, I like the water. I think pools are fun. Pools are pretty cool. But I, I'll, uh, I can miss out on a, on a beach. I'm not a beach guy. <sighs> I mean, frankly, summertime is not is not necessarily beach required. Okay, I would stay inside if I wanted to. I'm a very, like I said, I think last episode, yeah, I definitely did, because that's the only episode I could remember. Um, I'm a very indoor person. Same reason why COVID hasn't affected me that much. Speaking of COVID, oh man, oh man, oh man, COVID is something else. You know, we have really, 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 really uh, have something here with COVID. Being that, you know, our numbers in America have gone up rather than the other direction down, that we, which is the way we want it to go, it's really something. It's interesting to see that just how much we are not doing well. I think COVID, COVID's pretty interesting. Um, being that everyone is wearing masks now and like, you know, chilling with masks... I would like to think that, for the most part, we should have done this a while ago. Masks are like, like, look at the Japanese culture. They're always wearing masks, but it's out of respect. And then look at us. People don't like wearing masks because they're American. That's what I'm guessing it is. I mean, I'm a perfectly American boy. You know, white, white skin, blonde eyes. Blonde eyes, blonde hair, and blue eyes. There we go. Good job, me. Um, I'm a pretty, pretty average American guy. I wear a mask. I wear masks uh, all the time. Literally, I wear more. I wear masks more than anyone at my work. Literally, because I don't want to. I don't want to get anybody sick. Because the whole thing is that masks are for other people. They're not for yourself. You don't wear a mask to save yourself. You wear a mask to save others. I think that's why a lot of people aren't wearing them. Because at the end of the day, I feel a lot of people are super selfish. 
and they're like, oh, I don't need to save other people. Who cares? I'm good. And then they get it. And they're like, well, hmm, maybe I should have been wearing a mask. I just don't think people are all that selfless. I'm not all that selfless. I just think that this is one of those things where if you were, your life would be so much better. I, I think it's really just a matter of, you know, being an understanding person, being like, oh, maybe I should wear a mask. I don't know. COVID's weird. I, you know, I don't leave the house all that often during COVID anyways. So I wear a mask every time I go out, but I don't go, like I said, I don't leave the house that often. So I don't, that's maybe like twice a week I have to wear a mask and it's not really inconvenient for me. I think people are overreacting when they say it's inconvenient. Yeah, masks are, you know, they, they're in front of your face, but they're not limiting you from breathing. They don't stop airflow from getting out of your mouth. I don't know. I don't get the whole inconvenient argument of it, but at the end of the day, I wear a mask. I'm hopefully not going to get COVID. If I do, I'm not going to go anywhere. I'll have to isolate myself from others. But I'm not going to try to actively go out and give it to other people. I'm not going to leave my room and be like, I don't want to wear a mask. I want to go to Krispy Kreme, please. I'm not going to do that. That's a horrible idea. I mean, with the whole world being basically in crisis mode right now, I'm surprised that we went to Mad Max Fury Road so quickly. Look at us. We're all monsters. Which is fun. I love being a monster. It's great. I mean, I am for other reasons, but still. I mean, I was rewatching some of my Sekiro videos and I realized, wow, I really said some interesting things. Not racist by any means. Just, wow, I just didn't expect myself to say that. I mean, it's just how it is. It's just how it is. With COVID, I mean, not much has really happened for me. I mean, like I said last episode, I've been playing a lot of games. And I'm sure that I'll give you the entire list of the games I've been playing uh, soon. But it, it's a lot. Like, it's kind of stupid crazy how many games I've been playing as of recently. I really been playing a lot of games here it's true so there's this whole upward area that like you had you wouldn't be able to see unless you looked up it's pretty cool I mean it's really it there's just a bunch of gems here uh, if you have seen that you're missing like 300 or so gems they're probably all the way up here and that's cool I kind of like this little area more than I like the area underneath because it's very open. And that's kind of like how water levels should be. If they're not open, then it's like... I don't like. I think water levels that are open are really nice. Because it gives you room to kind of like traverse better. And you're not like all cramped up in little tunnels trying to swim. It's like that one place in Ocarina of Time where it's the entire water temple. Right. Being that I've never actually beaten Ocarina of Time, I still know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I have never beaten Ocarina of Time. I've never beaten any Le uh, Legend of Zelda game. I've come close with Wind Waker. I actually, you know, played it. And I got to the Earth Temple and the Wind Temple. And then I just never, never, the Earth, is that what it's called? I, I, the Wind Temple. I know that's for sure what it's called. But then I just never played them. Like, I got all the way up until them. I just haven't done it. And I'm sure... I mean, I have the time. One day I could come here and I could play it. I don't know. The water workers have kidnapped six of I don't know, dude. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. What I do know is that I've been playing a lot of games. Like, um, like, I could probably give you an entire list of games that I've been playing recently. I actually could. I have the Steam app on my phone. I could probably just pull it up right now. Uh, but it's a lot. Like, it's like... 60 or so games. I've been playing a lot. Like, okay, I can actually list off a majority of them right now. Just in my head. So, 
over the last three months, I have played. I played Persona 5 Royal. I played Doom Eternal. Those two were the first two I really played. Um, then I played uh, Blas... Eh, not Blasphemy. Blas Blasphemous? Hold on. We're doing it. We're pulling up the Steam catalog, baby. We're pulling it up. Okay. So over the break... I've been playing Persona 4 Golden. I haven't beaten it yet, but I have 58 hours into it. I've played all four of the Treasure... The Shovel Knight games. All four of them. I've beaten... Borderlands 2, Borderlands 1. Got halfway through Borderlands Pre-Sequel, which is just about as far as I got before. And I have started Borderlands 3, but I can't really play it. I replayed The Wonderful 101. Very great game. Came out on Steam. I recommend it uh, highly. I'm pretty, it might be on PS4 as well, but I don't know. I've played both Saints Row 4 and Saints Row 3. I have played... I've been playing recently all three of the LEGO Batman games. I've currently 100% of the LEGO Batman. I'm currently like 26% done with um, LEGO Batman 2, and then soon I'll be playing LEGO Batman 3. Yes, I'm playing LEGO Batman games. They were $12 for all three of them, and I was like, cool, I'll pick it up. I like those games. I've been playing Plants vs. Zombies. I've been playing SpongeBob's Battle for Bikini Bottom. Very great. I love it. Fantastic. It's called Blasphemous. That's the game I was talking about. I've been playing Batman Arkham Origins. Not that great of a game. It's okay. Like, it's out of the other Arkham games. It's the Black Sheep, and it's not that good. It's a fine game. It's just not that good when in comparison. Like I said, I've played Cuphead, uh, Salt and Sanctuary. I bought Puyo Puyo Tetris. I wasn't sure if that was before or after, but whatever. The Messenger, very good game. Reventure, very good game. Portal 2, very good game. I recently bought uh, Balloons Tower Defense 6. Very good. Uh, I've played Celeste. I'm not sure if that was before or after. Whatever. Uh, Katamari Reroll. Very good. Um, Dicey Dungeons. Very good game. Hollow Knight. I haven't replayed on there, but I guess very good game. I recommend it. Slime Rancher I bought recently. Very good. Nuclear Throne. Very good. Um, Cook Serve Delicious too. Very good. Fallout 4 New Vegas. Haven't played much into it. Only about two hours. Um, it's definitely a game that I'm going to be playing here soon. Quantum Conundrum, very good. Uh, Ten Second Ninja X, very good game. Very fun little platformer puzzle game. You only have ten seconds to do stuff. Awesome. I bought Uno. That's fun. Uh, Spelunky, very good, fun game. Uh, or in the Blind Forest, I actually still have yet to play it. Very, uh, From what I hear, it's very good. And I'm sure that I'll play it sometime in the future. Uh, for the most part, like I got Sonic Generations. That's fine. And for the most part, that's kind of it. Um, there's some games that I just skipped over because I haven't really played them. Or, like, they're just not really uh, noteworthy about. And that's just kind of is. I know that I spent three minutes doing that, but whatever. I think it was necessary. I've been playing a lot of games. And because I'm not doing this, I've just been playing more games. That's why I'm like, I could probably start it up again. I'm not doing anything. I gotta find three. I forget where three is. Or do I have to find two? I have to find two. I found two already. I need to find three. Um, but yeah, I've just been playing games. That really, nothing has changed. It's just that I'm not talking over them. And yet I still am because I recently I've been... I'll play all these games while my I call my girlfriend. Because she is, of course, not with me because COVID. Which sucks. Don't have a relationship during COVID-19. Um, that's just... It sucks to have. Luckily... For us, we're doing pretty great. It's just that it sucks to have a relationship or you can't sue each other. That's why long relationships don't always work. For the most part, they don't work. And I like long, having long distance relationships because it's weird. It's weird to have one and not be able to see this person or, you know, share your affection with them. It's odd. Not my cup of tea, frankly. Not my cup of tea. But, I mean... Soon enough, soon enough, uh, I won't have to worry about that, because, of course, COVID-19, give it a few more months, and it'll hopefully keel over, and if not, then we'll have to wait a little bit longer. If not for that, then damn. But I'm sure that everything will be just fine. You know, it's funny that I was actually looking at, before I, you know, started uploading again, I actually was looking at my... Um, YouTube channel a few days ago. Like how I said I was watching Sekiro and I was like, oh, oh I, this is why I loved doing videos. Um, I was looking at it and I was like, hmm, 
I wonder how long ago the Uno podcast came out. The, you know, the one that we only did one of. Very good on us, on our part. Um, That was like a year ago. It was April 21st, I believe, of 2019. It was sometime in April. I'm pretty sure it was April 21st. Um, And that's crazy to me because it doesn't feel like it's been a year. It feels like it's been longer. And it's crazy to me now that me and the girl, my co-host, the lovely Katie, uh, are now in a relationship. And I think it's kind of awesome. You know, it's not often that you see things like this work out as well as they as it did. And that's kind of awesome. Can I say awesome more times than... <laughs> more times in the next minute or, or no? I don't know. Either way, I think it's pretty cool. I don't know. And like, you know, I, I, I'm an essential worker. COVID has made me an essential worker for some reason. I don't get it. I'm not a very essential guy. I mean, look at me. I'm, how can this be a, an essential worker? For <laughs> heaven's sake, I make pizza. I don't even make pizzas. I take orders so people can make pizzas. It's not very essential, but I'm. it is what it is. And I, you know, I'm just... I'm essential... And it's weird to me that, like, for example, not many people around me are essential. Being that they, uh, you, you know, they, their job doesn't require them to, or their job isn't something that the world needs, you know, and that's just how it is. Being that my parents aren't essential, and I am, it makes me feel extra weird because I don't feel essential. So that's fun. I've been trying to take. Great. I mean, I. I don't know. It's weird to be essential and not feel it because, like, I get paid to work, which is which is still fun. I don't get paid extra. I just get, you know, the same amount of hours and all yada yada yada. But it it, it it's an interesting little thing because it's well like, done. huh, am I putting myself at risk, or am I putting other people at risk? Because my whole thing is like worrying that I have COVID and I don't know. Okay. That is the most, hard, that's the most worrisome thing about this whole experience is thinking that I might have COVID. I don't, I don't think I have COVID, but I'm saying that there, there might be a day where it's like, did I have, do I have the coronavirus? Uh, and am I giving it to other people? And like, I don't know. That's like the worst part about this entire thing. You don't know if you have it for two weeks. And I love the people that are like, oh, it's a hoax, it's a hoax. It's like, okay, cool. It's good for you. I don't want to think it's a hoax. It's not a hoax. Of course it's not a hoax. Incredible. And it's, yeah, it's just, it sucks. I don't want to give people the virus. It, it's not what I want to do. I am still missing 75 orbs. Um, oh, I know, I know where. Shark zone. It's the shark zone. Everybody, we gotta go to the shark zone. Uh... Am I crazy? How do I leave this place? I don't even remember. It's down here. Nope, not here. I don't remember. Well, I don't... It's over here. Okay, good job. But yeah, it is what it is. I don't know. COVID's weird. And I think that it... it that's only... That's the only real way of saying that. It's a whole odd experience... You know, none of us know what's going on. And that's interesting to me. So these shark boys, you can't kill them. Unless you have fire. But you can't have fire underwater, you stupid idiot. Stupid bitch. You gotta, you gotta make sure you got the fire zone on. The fire zone? Dude. I've been watching uh, TV more and more. And I don't know why. I immediately thought of chalk zone. But I've never watched the Chalk Zone. Maybe once, but I don't really remember it. Either way. Um, I've been watching a lot more TV. Like, I've been watching Everybody Hates Chris. Well, I had watched Everybody Hates Chris. Funny enough, it's still true. <laughs> but it's a really good show. I really enjoy it. Except for the ending. Um, it's a pretty old show. I don't feel bad about spoiling it. I mean, I, I won't still, but it's not something I would feel bad about spoiling. 
Um, basically, it just ends on this weird little cliffhanger, and it's odd. But, like, because it's about Chris Rock's life, it's like, you know what happens. But still, I want to know. It's a very funny show. It's about four seasons long, and I would highly recommend watching it. It's not the world's funniest show in the world or anything, but it's funny enough to keep my attention, and I think that's worth something. My attention is, uh pretty good to have I'd like to say I'm a pretty I'd like to say that I'm I have a pretty good uh, comedy palette and I try I think I know what's funny and what's not funny and if I don't fuck me dude I don't know dude I need to figure something out really quick cuz I don't remember <laughs> how do I get um, him to point out treasure okay tell three Okay, I couldn't remember what button it was. Very useful thing, by the way. Being able to know where treasure is, is nice. I think it's up. Oh, is it up here? Might be. Oh, perfect. And just like that, the place is 100% completed. Awesome. So now, we can leave. Ah, man, I know I have, I, I think normally I would just talk about everything and that's just kind of how it would be. But, uh, screw that. I, I, I love talking about games and just being like, this is what this is and this is what that is. But I think there's more important things to talk about. Like how I feel. Yeah. It's good. Always know how you feel. It's very, uh, very important. I like how I entered that gate from the backward side. I wouldn't necessarily call that a happy ending. Whatever. I don't know, though. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, that kind of that wraps up um, Aqueous Towers. All that leaves us with is, I believe, um, just to leave. I'm not sure if we have the boss. I'm not sure if there is a boss. Like I said before, it's been so long before I played this, it wouldn't surprise me if I completely forgot every aspect of it. Um, I believe there is no boss, though. I believe we just... We did that already. Uh, that doesn't go anywhere. We're gonna figure this out right now. I believe there is no boss. Maybe there is. Hey. Well done, Spyro. Oh. Now that you have six Perfect. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro... I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the Professor was working on some new Super Portal technology. There! That's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah? How about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? <laughs> Dragons? Wonderful! Crush! Go back and pack my bags! We're moving in! Say hello to your new king! Professor, shut it down! Hurry! Oh my, oh my! I can't see the switch! I think I've broken my glasses! Crush! Go through the portal, you idiot! Hello, 
all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar. Quickly! <laughs> Wait, wouldn't it make more sense to let him go through, then take the orbs out? That would have been smart. Wouldn't that make more sense? Have one less person to deal with? Why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah, I uh, would have gone after him, but didn't you say something about not liking dragons? Professor. Could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? Cool. Cool. We're not fighting Crush. We are, I mean, I mean technically we are, but we're not doing it yet. We're not going to do it yet. This is his boss fight. I didn't... I thought... Hey, buddy. We're live in this level. Hey. Alrighty. Um, we're gonna play this next time, of course. Um, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, before we fight the... Boss, and then we'll... Go to the next world. We can't climb ladders yet, so we can't finish these areas. Fully. Either way. I'll leave you here and yada yada yada. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the Crash channel. Um, and uh, we'll fight Crush here next time. Peace.